Uh, three words to describe Wenmei. Uh, this is a hard question because I don't think three words can contain Wenmei. So the first word I would think is yes, uh, intelligent. There is never a question that his heart is in the right place. Uh, many young uh, faculty members uh, were uh, inspired by his work. Number of Illinois undergrads chose to return to Illinois um, for graduate school, really for the opportunity to work with him. You know, he's just the type of person that, that cares about you as an individual as well as, as a scientific or engineering mind. There's perhaps fewer people who you can both learn to be a good researcher and also learn good character from. Came into my office and he said, uh, my name, William who? And so I said, you don't look like a William. What's your real name? And he said, too difficult. I said, well, try me. So he said, wet me. And I said, well, do you want to be William or do you want to be wet me? So you know the answer because he's been Wenmei ever since. One of the things I really admire about Wenmei is that he's always had an uncanny ability to see around the corner. Uh, one of his first projects here at the university was called Impact, and it was a compiler project. So that was a project he started when he first arrived here. And parallelism was one of those things that the universe, the, the the industry. At, at to, to, to really start to embrace. Well, Wenmei was right there uh, at that particular turn of the corner and was working on GPU parallelism. Uh, and he created a course that was adopted here at the university, the first of its kind. And now other universities are taking uh, Wenmei's and David's notes and textbook and using it to teach similar courses elsewhere. Wenmei was a really a fantastic undergraduate instructor. Um, it was really his undergrad level computer architecture class that um, inspired me to go into that area for my graduate studies. Uh, when they treated his research group like family, um, and as a result, to this day, a lot of us have a strong connection with him and with each other um, because of that. Uh, when they was an assistant professor uh, when I started with him, he had infinite patience and he really uh, just led by example, and he brought the best out of me. When I work with students today, or when I'm faced with a difficult situation, I, I think, what would Wenmei do here? And uh, once I figure that out, it, it leads me to do the right thing. I was uh, graduating and I was about to move here to Spain. And we had these meetings at, at his house with the entire group. He went one by one through all his students uh, that were there. Um, that were junior to me and each one gave his thoughts about you know uh, my interaction simon did this with me and he was kind to me and eventually he gets to him and uh, he also tells the story when i i joined him uh, again joined his group and how he's very proud of me for finishing and all of this um, and I think that's something that not a lot of people highlight, but Wenme is really good at highlighting that. You know, as a graduate student, uh, you're, you're, you know, you're, especially of the international students, you know, you're away from home, uh, you're, you, you know, you've, you're in this, you know, new country, you're alone. Uh, but, you know, if, uh, when your advisor is accommodating, it really makes that, uh, uh, makes that easier. Um, so, you know, Wenme was always a sort of source of comfort. And he even told me one time that, you know, I'm your father away from home. So he's, uh, he, he, he really likes to make sure that uh, his students are doing well. Uh, he cares about their well-being, their comfort. And not, by the way, not just his students. Uh, I also know of, you know, other students who have other advisors. And, you know, when they went through a difficult time, uh, they went to speak to Enmei because they knew that he was somebody who was approachable and who would be very understanding. He was always very, very invested in what I was doing and what everybody else in, in his research group was doing. And then, you know, for me personally, when I started talking to him about, oh, I have this interest in, in law, I'm going to take, I actually took a patent law class while I was finishing out my master's thesis. He was very supportive of, yeah, we, we need engineers in all of these different roles and we need people that are, are curious and analytical in all of these different types of positions. And I think he was very supportive in, in me going in that direction. And that extended to, you know, again, after I graduated, I come back to, 
campus fairly often and every time I do if he knows I'm there he'll say hey Chris stop by let's talk let's have a cup of coffee I told him uh, you know you are going to retire right so uh, don't work so hard okay and uh, but uh, what when they told me uh, was a little surprising uh, although he um, retired from the university uh, setting and uh, he, um, he will become the senior distinguished research scientist uh, for NVIDIA. This, this is actually a full-time job. Um, obviously, he still thinks that he's young and uh, I admire him for that. That's one of the joys of being a professor, you know? You get to see them as a uh, brand new graduate student. So he came to Berkeley as a, as a graduate student. Uh, and yeah, he was an awkward kid, you know? And uh, now he's, uh, he's absolutely, you know, he, he could be the ambassador to the UN. He's polished, he's uh, sensitive, he's uh, thoughtful. Innovative, curious, inspiring, smart, compassionate, unlimited, wise. He's very smart, uh, patience, visionary, mentor, intelligence, insightfulness, and integrity. He's not limitless, but he's got an incredible capacity to do a lot of things and to do them well. Uh, I've not met many people like him.